I am Lyric Johnson. I'm attached to Golf Company 634. I like the fact that as a team, we were able to move as a collective and keep our composure regardless of um, what the mission was. We still like remain civilized and moved as a whole. So I thought that was pretty cool. Physically, um, it was intense, but I think that it was well needed because, you know, we're soldiers, so it's not supposed to be like, you know, something we're doing pretty. We have to get dirty. Um, we're trying to defeat our enemies, so we can't like be trying to be cute and not get dirty. I definitely hope that we do more of the, these things in the future and um, just getting more familiar with my battle buddies and working as a team, I really like that. I am Sergeant Thomas Verbaren from Golf 634 BSB. I think the training was great. It's supposed to simulate actually doing the, the, the tests at hand and going through all the motions that you would in a, in a real uh, firefight. I think the most difficult thing for me today is, you know, some of the reactive firing. Uh, you have to look around and sometimes you might be getting shot at and you can't tell where it's coming from. So you have to keep your head swivel, let your team know, everyone communicate with each other to work effectively as a team. I am Captain Memory Taylor with the 178th Infantry. Uh, the most beneficial part of today's training from an officer perspective is bringing uh, soldier tasks and drills um, and adding the realism of the scenarios that we were provided. Um, it helps uh, the soldiers gain confidence in their basic tasks as well as uh, some of the higher leadership gain um, an idea of how to maneuver um, teams in an urban environment. With these scenarios, there's a lot of uh, mental stressors. Um, you have a plan, things change when you're moving, um, so you have to kind of develop a, another plan on the fly. Um, so that's part of like uh, the leadership, gaining your confidence and making decisions that you can still uh, accomplish the mission. In a scenario like this, um, you want to trust that the NCOs know their job and can complete a task given um, what the mission is and that they can develop plans when things um, don't go according to the original plan. Um, so you lean on them and trust them that they can make sound decisions uh, given any type of environment. I am 100% confident in our unit's ability to complete our mission. It is uh, definitely with this training, it solidified my uh, ideas of the NCO and what we expect out of them.